Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to continue talking about some of the things that hinder the success and the usefulness of risk management implementation in non-financial companies. And in the previous two videos, in the first one I talked about uh, the science behind how human brain works in situations of uncertainty and how we make decisions uh, under uncertainty. In the second video I talked about the difference between the corporate risks and individual risks and why it is important to understand what actually drives the decision makers that you want to be an advisor to. And usually, usually, it's not the corporate objectives. Usually, if you come to them with a conversation of we can increase the likelihood of achieving corporate objectives, it will not be as effective as something else that you can tell them. And in this video, in the third video, I wanted to talk about um, the actual decision-making uh, process and the reality of business. Now, the, uh, the kind of the reality of risk management is that uh, we have historically, we as the professionals in non-financial companies, we have built our approach uh, uh, in a way that allows the companies to conduct risk identification analysis and some sort of mitigation discussion on a periodic basis. And uh, you can kind of sense that we, we've um, built risk management that happens at the time, at the predetermined time when it's time to do risk management. So my, many organizations, many non-financial companies do risk management at exactly the, the time when it's due to do risk management. And that to me is just absolutely weird because the decisions and the processes and the activities that are associated with the huge uncertainty and that require some sort of risk analysis then and there happen every single day. And yet we, um, we've created a schedule for risk management activities throughout the year and we stick to that schedule. So we would talk about strategic risks at the particular period in time, regardless that the strategy may be reviewed two weeks after we've had our risk workshop or three weeks before we had our, our strategic risk workshop. Uh, we somehow have uh, created a timeline of risk management activities that is not aligned with the timeline of how business operates. And that to me is the biggest uh, reason why risk management is just not as effective as it could be. And if you've watched my other videos, you know I'm a strong believer in the fact that risk management is an extremely powerful tool because human mind works in a different way and we can bring just unbelievable value by adding that element of risk analysis to significant decisions or core activities. Um, the, and the, the money saving is just mind-blowing uh, and the quality of uh, decision-making improves quite significantly. But that doesn't happen because we're sticking to our own schedule which is not connected to the reality of the business. So the third reason why I think risk management is failing to be an effective tool for the decision makers within the company is because we ignore the way business lives and operates, the timeline on which business operates. And we continue pushing our own agenda that you should be thinking about risks at the particular set periods of time in the year, which is completely irrelevant. And I mean, so, you know, years ago, it was horrible. Like we were thinking about risks once a year. I mean, that was just ridiculous. We've then moved to six monthly. We then moved to quarterly. Some companies, I mean, I have honestly, I have honestly heard a risk manager of one of the large uh, one of the largest probably Russian companies brag that they've just moved from quarterly to monthly risk assessments. I mean, that is just stupidity. I mean, this is so irrelevant. Um, you can do it weekly and you're still going to miss the window of opportunity for the decision makers because the decisions are happening at random intervals. And if you stick to a particular schedule, you're missing the whole point completely. Risk analysis should be happening when activity or a decision is taking place. So that means in one week you could have five instances of application of risk management process and doing risk analysis. In another week you may have 15. In another week you may have zero because nothing was happening. You know, the CEO went on a national tour and everything was quiet in the company. No decisions, no significant activities were taking place. And that also implies that if you're going to do risk analysis kind of attached or as part of the core activities or as part of the decision making, you will need to have a range of tools. So just doing, just having one methodology for risk management is again quite ridiculous. Uh, it clearly doesn't 
align with the reality of how business is done because for some decisions you may have half a day to make that decision and to carry out risk analysis and to present your findings and to um, make some sort of conclusions whether it's a good or bad decision. For other activities like strategic planning or budgeting, annual budgeting or a multi-million dollar investment uh, or um, a large procurement contract or a large joint venture agreement, you may have weeks, months or even years to do proper in-depth risk analysis and obviously you would apply different uh, different tools. So those are my thoughts. That's, I think that is one of the most significant reasons why risk management is just not as effective as it could be. It's uh, the timeline of doing risk management activities is disconnected from the timeline of how business lives and operates and that I think is something that needs to be needs to be fixed as soon as possible. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts too right underneath this video. For now for me, thank you and goodbye.